Hi, I'm Ed Dooley. I produce videos about education and sustainability. I've produced many DVD projects with authors such as gardening guru Elliot Coleman, fermentation expert Sandor Katz, natural beekeeper Ross Conrad, holistic orchardist Michael Phillips, and many more. I'm here in the backyard with the chickens and songbirds to ask for your help in introducing to the world some remarkable people from the subtropical highlands of Mexico. But first, I'd like you to hear a few words about our project from environmentalist and 350.org founder Bill McKibben. The world is long on problems, and sometimes it feels like we're a little short of answers, but that's often because we're not looking in exactly the right places. Yeah, some of the things we need to know are going to come out of research labs and high-tech centers, but a lot of the rest are going to come out of unlikelier places, on the fringes a little bit, closer in contact with both the natural world and the traditional world, where there are an awful lot of solutions uh, waiting to be found. And some of those are in this remarkable project at Las Cañadas, uh, which I look forward very much to seeing described in all its glory. Thanks. Last year, I had the privilege of working with noted author and agrosystems expert Eric Tonsmeyer on a project about perennial vegetables. That project took us to Las Cañadas, Mexico, a mile-high subtropical cooperative farm in the shadow of 18,500-foot snow-capped volcano Pico de Orizaba. The biointensive gardens, polyculture plantings, and cloud forest restoration at Las Cañadas are amazing, as is the educational mission of the cooperative, with intensive workshops on everything from seed saving to bamboo construction and sustainability. But the thing that really affected me is that the people of Las Cañadas aren't just gardeners. Their goal of living cooperatively and sustainably extends to every part of their lives, from what they eat, how they interact with their neighbors, and how they tread lightly on the earth with an almost impossibly small carbon footprint. The documentary we filmed last year at Las Cañadas focused entirely on how they grow food. But with this current project, I want the world to see the inspirational story of the people of Las Cañadas. The more than three hour long film will be divided into two segments. One will focus on the people, mission, and philosophy of the cooperative, and their role as stewards of the land and as teachers. The second section will give hands-on how-to details of the environment-friendly practices that make Las Cañadas one of the premier agroecology and permaculture sites in Mexico. Sadly, when many Americans think of Mexico, they think of illegal aliens and drug cartels. But the people of Las Cañadas and other organizations like them are really beacons of hope for us here in the U.S. and around the world. We can take the lessons they've learned from their years of hard work and dedication and use them as models for our own sustainability goals. That's the story I want to tell of Las Cañadas. Who they are, how they started, their failures and successes, some hands-on how-to, but most important of all, I want you to see how they're making the world a better place. And with your help, we'll do it. Thanks.